Hi everyone, Ryan here again and uh, today's topic is what is a PIP? Alright, so let's move on to the lesson. Okay, so what is a PIP? Now a PIP, right, is short form for point in percentage, right, PIP, PIP. It represents a change in the price of a currency pair due to exchange rates, denotes the fourth decimal in the amount of a currency. Very important, remember. Fourth decimal, all right? So one pip equals 0 0.00010, all right? Only in the case of Japanese yen currency pairs, the one pip, right, will be denoted by the second decimal. So one pip equals 0 0.01. Zero, all right. So it's sometimes also known as the price interest point, right? So if you can't remember point in percentage, price interest point, or price in percentage, or or price in uh, point, you know, not important. You just need to know one pip, all right. One pip, zero point zero 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 one for most currency pairs, zero point zero one for Japanese yen pairs. Okay. So most pairs have five decimal places, right? So that means one pip equals 0 0.00010. Japanese yen pair base have three decimal places, so it's 0 0.010, all right? So we talk about uh, most currency pairs, right? So for example, in this case, Euro USD. So we see 1.34568, all right? Or 1.36211, all right? So these are five decimal places, all right? Then we have this thing called a fractional pip. So the fractional pip would be the fifth decimal place, right? So if you look over here, 1.34568, right? Eight is the fractional pip, right? Or one point, it, right? One point, okay? And over here, 1.36211 or 1.36228. So the one and the eight are the fractional pip, right? Or also known as one point. So one pip is 0 0.0001, one point is 0 0.00001, right, the fifth decimal place, right? So it shows more exact signals of price movement and is a standard among good brokers, right? So most brokers, in fact, nowadays, when you are trading, there's five decimal places, right? When I first started trading 12 years ago, there was no five decimal place, right? There was no fifth decimal. It was up to the fourth decimal only. So there was no fractional pip back then. Right? So only in recent years, they came out with a fractional pip to make the price more accurate. Okay, so a simple example here, right? Euro US dollar, let's say the quote price right now is 1.18281. So if the price moves to 1.18291, it has moved one pip up, right? One pip up. And if it, the price has moved from 1.18281 to 1.18282, then we say it has moved one point up. All right. So here is one pip. Here is one point. Okay. And then we look at the Japanese yen pair example. So US dollar Japanese yen, assuming the quote price is 110.182. So if the price has moved to 110.172, we say it has moved one pip down or if the price from 110.182 has moved to 110.181 we say it has moved one point down all right simple enough all right so second decimal place is one pip third decimal one point for japanese yen pairs okay so what is the value of a pip right is dependent on the lot size traded all right so you know, uh, lots will be the specific allocated units per trade. So, for example, one standard lot is one hundred thousand units, right? Or one hundred thousand US dollars in some cases, right? One mini lot is a uh, ten thousand units. One micro lot is one thousand units, and one nano lot is one hundred units, right? So, if you're trading on the MT four platform which uh, I'll be sharing with you guys later. So most of our training is done on the MT4 platform. We only have micro lots. There's no nano lots, all right? But some brokers, they have their own in-house platform. They do go down to as low as nano lot, all right? So here, one standard lot, 100,000 units. If you're talking about two mini lots, 20,000 units. What about seven micro lots, 7,000 units? 
Okay, so this is the pip value, right? Value of one pip. So depending on the lot size. So if let's say you're trading one micro lot, then one pip is worth 10 cents. Two pip, 20 cents. 10 pip, one dollar. All right. And if you're trading one mini lot, right? So this means that one pip is equivalent to one dollar. Three pips, three dollars. Five pips, five dollars. Right? Per pip. Right? So you're trading 5 mini lot and the price has moved 1 pip, you have made $5 or lost $5. All right? And then for 1 standard lot, each pip is worth $10. So if the price has moved 6 pips in your favor, you have made $60 on that trade. Okay, so that concludes today's topic on what is a pip. And in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about margin and leverage. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.